Hey everybody, welcome to History University. My name is Tom, and I will be your educator for this video. In 1978, a man named Michael Hart took it upon himself to publish a book titled The 100, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. Of course, this list was met with controversy, mainly because Hart left out notable people like Abraham Lincoln, Leonardo da Vinci, Benjamin Franklin, and Mohandas Gandhi. While I don't personally agree with the exact order of the list, I do think that each of these 100 names are important to know. I'm not going to try to justify the position they were put in or argue who should be in the top 10. I just want to familiarize you with the people you may not know. Hart is an astrophysicist, so there is a bias towards scientists here. Last thing before we start, since there are 100 people, I will give a very brief biography about each of them. Now let's take a look at the 100. At number 100, Muhavir, a principal figure of Jainism. Number 99, Justinian, an emperor for the Eastern Roman Empire, sometimes known as the Byzantine Empire. Number 98, Homer, a Greek poet who wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey. Number 97, Charlemagne, a man who united parts of Europe to form the Carolingian Empire. He is sometimes credited as the first Holy Roman Emperor. Number 96, Manes an Egyptian pharaoh who united Upper and Lower Egypt to form the first dynasty. Number 95, Mikhail Gorbachev, the leader of Soviet Russia who pursued reforms like perestroika and glasnost. Both of them helped open democracy to Eastern Europe. Number 94, Queen Elizabeth I, Queen of England from 1558 to her death in 1603. She cemented England as a Protestant country and defeated the Spanish Armada. Number 93, Zoroaster, an Iranian prophet who founded the religion of Zoroastrianism. Number 92, Mencius, a Chinese philosopher who was a principal interpreter of Confucianism. Number 91, Henry Ford, the owner of the Ford Motor Company. He also revolutionized mass production techniques. Number 90, Francis Bacon, the creator of the scientific method and a key figure in the scientific revolution of the Enlightenment. Number 89, Mao Zedong, the leader of communist China from 1949 to 1974. Number 88, Peter the Great, the Russian emperor who expanded the Tsarist Empire to make Russia a European power. Number 87, Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Achaemenid Empire, the first Persian Empire. Number 86, Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese explorer who was the first to reach India by sea. Number 85, Su Wen Tai, founder of China's Su Dynasty and helped reunify China in 589. Number 84, Vladimir Lenin, the leader of the Russian Revolution and the new communist regime from 1917 to 1924. Number 83, Mani, the Iranian founder of Manichaeism a Gnostic religion which was a rival to Christianity for some time. Number 82, Gregory Pincus, an American biologist who created the oral contraceptive pill. Number 81, John F. Kennedy, the 38th president of the United States. He served at the height of the Cold War and helped defuse the Cuban Missile Crisis. Number 80, Thomas Malthus, an English scholar who raised concerns over overpopulation. Number 79, Niccolo Machiavelli, an Italian diplomat and Renaissance writer who is considered the father of political science. Number 78, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, a French philosopher and the author of The Social Contract. Number 77, Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician who made prolific discoveries in calculus and graph theory. Number 76, Enrico Fermi, an Italian-American physicist who created the first nuclear reactor. Number 75, Johannes Kepler, a German mathematician and astronomer who created the laws of planetary motion. Number 74, Voltaire, a key figure of the European Enlightenment. His writings played a crucial role in the French Revolution. Number 73, Lao Tzu, author of Tao Te Ching and founder of Taoism. Number 72, Johann Sebastian Bach, a composer who created some of the world's most beautiful music. Number 71, Wilhelm Conrad Reutgen, a German physicist who discovered electromagnetic waves. Number 70, Edward Jenner, 
the man who developed the world's first vaccine, which was used for smallpox, and he is now known as the father of immunology. Number 69, Sigmund Freud, an Austrian neurologist who founded Psychoanalysts, which involved the investigation of the subconscious, dreams, and the human mind. Number 68, William the Conqueror, the first Norman king of England. Number 67, Julius Caesar, the Roman ruler who oversaw the demise of the Roman Republic, which was then replaced with the Roman Empire. Number 66, Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union for about 30 years. He also led the Soviet Union during World War II. Number 65, Queen Isabella I, the Queen of Castile. She helped create a powerful and unified Spain, which influence spread across the Americas. Number 64, Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States of America and the principal author of the United States Declaration of Independence. Number 63, Hernando Cortez, a Spanish conquistador who conquered the Aztec lands of modern-day Mexico. Number 62, Francisco Pizarro, a Spanish conquistador who claimed Inca lands for Spain. Number 61, Nicolaus August Otto, a German engineer who developed compressed charge internal combustion engine to run on patrol. Number 60, Joseph Lister, a British surgeon who pioneered the use of sterilization. Number 59, Max Planck, a German theoretical physicist who developed the theory of quantum physics and discovered the energy quanta. Number 58, Gregor Mendel, a Czech Austrian scientist and friar who founded the modern science of genetics. Number 57, John Calvin, a Christian theologian who developed a strict branch of Protestant Christianity, which stressed the doctrine of predestination. Number 56, Ernest Rutherford, a New Zealand-born British physicist who made discoveries in atomic physics. His work on splitting the atom was influential for the development of atomic science. Number 55, William Harvey, an English physician who made contributions to the understanding of how blood circulated the body. Number 54, St. Augustine, an influential Christian saint and writer. He shaped much of the Western Christian thought. Number 53, Ahsoka, a powerful Indian king who established a large empire by conquest. He then converted to Buddhism and pursued a peaceful approach. Number 52, Umar ibn al-Khattab, a powerful Muslim caliphate and senior companion of Muhammad, an influential figure in Sunni Islam. Number 51, Pope Urban II, an influential pope who ordered the First Crusade to the Holy Land and set up the Papal Court. Number 50, Michelangelo, a Renaissance sculptor, painter, and architect. Number 49, René Descartes, a French philosopher and mathematician. He is known for, I think, therefore I am. Number 48, Simone Boulevard, the liberator of Latin American countries. Number 47, Louis Daguerre, a French artist and photographer who is credited with the invention of the camera. Number 46, Werner Heisenberg, a German theoretical physicist, one of the pioneers into quantum mechanics. Number 45, Ludwig von Beethoven, a German composer of the classical and romantic period. Number 44, John Locke, an English political philosopher. Locke promoted the theory of liberal democracy and social contract. Number 43, Alexander Fleming, a Scottish biologist who discovered penicillin. Number 42, Alexander Graham Bell, the Scottish inventor of the telephone. Number 41, Oliver Cromwell, leader of the parliamentarians in the English Civil War. Number 40, Plato, a Greek philosopher. Number 39, Adolf Hitler, the dictator of Nazi Germany. Number 38, Giglamo Marconi, an Italian engineer who helped develop radio transmission. Number 37, William T.G. Morton, an American dentist who pioneered the use of anesthetics. Number 36, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch chemist and the founder of microbiology. Number 35, Thomas Edison, inventor and businessman who helped introduce electricity and the electric light bulb. Number 34, Napoleon Bonaparte, a French military and political leader. Number 33, Alexander the Great, king of Macedonia and a military leader. Number 32, John Dalton, an English chemist and physicist who made contributions to the atomic theory. Number 31, William Shakespeare, an English poet and playwright. Number 30, Adam Smith, a Scottish social philosopher 
and pioneer of classical economics. Number 29, Genghis Khan, a military and political leader of the Mongols. Number 28, Orville and Wilbur Wright, the brothers who created and flew the first airplane. Number 27, Karl Marx, a German philosopher and the founder of communism. Number 26, George Washington, the first president of the United States of America and the leader during the American Revolution. Number 25, Martin Luther, the man who sought out to reform the Roman Catholic Church. His action started the Protestant Reformation. Number 24, James Clerk Maxwell, the Scottish physicist who made significant contributions to understanding electromagnetism. Number 23, Michael Faraday, an English scientist who contributed to electromagnetism and electrochemistry. Number 22, James Watt, the Scottish engineer who replaced the Newcomb steam engine with a more efficient steam engine. Number 21, Constantine the Great, the first Christian Roman emperor. Number 20, Antoine Lavoisier, a French chemist and biologist who had a leading impact on the chemical revolution. Number 19, Nicolaus Copernicus, a Renaissance mathematician and astronomer who believed that the sun was the center of the solar system instead of the earth. Number 18, Augustus Caesar, the first Roman emperor. Number 17, Shi Huang Ti, the king of the state of the Qin who conquered and united different regions of China. Number 16, Charles Darwin, the scientist who proposed and popularized the theory of evolution. Number 15, Moses, a key figure of Jewish and Christian theology, the man who gave the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament. Number 14, Euclid, a Greek mathematician. Number 13, Aristotle, the Greek philosopher and polymath. Number 12, Galileo, the Italian scientist who confirmed the heliocentric model. Number 11, Louis Pasteur, a French biologist who developed a cure for rabies and other infectious diseases. Number 10, Albert Einstein, a German and American scientist that discovered the theory of relativity. Number 9, Christopher Columbus, the Italian explorer who started transatlantic contact between Europe and the Americas. Number 8, Johann Gutenberg, the inventor of the printing press. Number 7, Sal Boom, the inventor of paper. Number six, St. Paul, the Christian missionary and one of the main writers of the New Testament. Number five, Confucius, a Chinese philosopher. Number four, Buddha, a spiritual teacher and founder of Buddhism. Number three, Jesus of Nazareth, a spiritual teacher and central figure of Christianity. Number two, Isaac Newton, a British mathematician and scientist. Number one, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Now the reason stated why Muhammad was number one is that he was very powerful in both the religious and secular realms. The author claims that Muhammad's role in the development of Islam was much more influential than Jesus's, and the justification he uses is that St. Paul wrote about half of the New Testament, when Muhammad is considered the author of the Quran. Muhammad seemed to spread the word of the religion while he was alive. It seems that much of the development of Christianity came from the writers after Christ writing about him. So while the religion is based off of Jesus, he didn't really spread it himself. He had other people spread it for him, whereas Muhammad was doing the main spreading of the word at the time. All right, guys, that was the breakdown of the 100, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. If there is anyone on this list that you think was left out, let me know in the comments down below. I am seriously thinking about constructing my own list like this with the help of you viewers. I want to thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you can. And most importantly, have a good day.